Hello and welcome to the video lecture on 8051 timer programming in assembly for mode 2 which is 8 bit auto reload mode. Let us first understand what are the characteristics and operations in mode 2 for timers in 8051 microcontroller. So mode 2 is basically an 8 bit timer and therefore it allows the values of 00 to FF to be loaded into the timer register TH. So, if you are dealing with a timer 0, you have to load the value in TH0 and if you are dealing with timer 1, you have to load the value in TH1. Now, after this uh, TH is loaded with this 8 bit value, actually 8051 gives a copy of it to a TL after overflow. Okay, And then the timer must be started. So, uh, this is done by the uh, instruction set B. TR0 for timer 0 and set B TR1 for timer 1. Then in next step, once you start the timer, then the timer starts to count up by incrementing the TL register. So TL register will start counting from the loaded value up to FF and from FF it will again roll over to 00, 0 after application of one more clock pulse. So whenever there is a changeover from FF to 00, 0, it basically sets the timer overflow flag and when this TL register roll over and when it set the flag then TL is reloaded automatically with the original value kept by the TH register and to repeat this process we must simply clear the TF and for the next iteration and in this case as it is a auto reload mode the programmer need not uh, reload the original values again so this makes this mode 2 as an auto reload in contrast with this mode 1 in which the programmer has to reload the values in th and tl registers again now uh, remember that in mode 2 uh, initially we are going to set the value in th as well as in tl register and then from that set value it is going to uh, start incrementing and reach up to ff okay. so this is what is an internal diagram so the crystal oscillator frequency is internally divided by 12 and when uh, the tr bit is set then the timer starts incrementing and when it overflows then uh, it reaches ff to 00, 0 and when it will reaches ff to 00, 0 then the uh, TA value which is loaded in the TH register will be immediately copied into the TL register after the overflow. So this is what is an internal diagram. Now there are some programming steps. So first you have to load the TMOD register indicating which timer you are using and which timer mode is selected. Then you have to load the calculated count in the th register with the initial value and at the same time you also load the same count in the tl register also for only for the first iteration because once it reaches overflow uh, overflow condition then for next iteration the value from th register will be uh, immediately copied into the tl register once you load this you have to start the timer and keep monitoring the timer flag with JNB instruction and when this condition becomes false it will get out of the loop when TF goes high. So once uh, it comes out of the loop then you have to clear the TF flag and again you have to go back to step number 4 that means you have to keep monitoring the overflow flag instead of going to step number 2 as it is auto reload the value will get reloaded automatically into the TL register from TH register. Now we will uh, take one example programming example and uh, we will try to write a program in the assembly level language. So sir, generate a delay of 100 microseconds on port pin 2.3 for crystal frequency of 11.0592 megahertz using timer 0 in mode 2 okay. so this is what is the statement 
So now in this case, we are interested in generating a delay of 100 microseconds. So first we will calculate the count value uh, corresponding to 100 microseconds. So in the first step, you have to divide this 100 microseconds by 1.085 microseconds. So this comes out to be 92.60. Now as it is an auto reload 8 bit timer, you have to subtract this count from uh, 256. So when you subtract it, it will give you 92.16, so which is equal to 163.4. So if you uh, make it round figure, you can take it either 163 or 164. So 164 is corresponding to the A4H. So this is the count value that we are going to load into the TH. Here we are using timer 0, so we are loading the count value in TH0 register. Now we we'll start writing the uh, program. So first you have to go for loading the count in TMOD register. You have to first load the uh, value in the TMOD register. So as we are using uh, the timer 0 in mode 2, then you have to load the count of 0 to. So first instruction is CORG 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is an assembler directive. Then move tmod comma hash 0 to. So this is a timer 0 in mode 2. Now how to load these values in tmod register? So that I have already explained in my uh, previous video on tmod. So I will also provide the link of this in the description box. Now you have to load the values. So move th0 comma 0 a3 and also load the same value on in tl0 register. Now once you do this, you now you have to start the timer. But before that, we are, we are toggling the port pin 2.3. So write the instruction set b p 2.3 and now you start the timer. So set b tr0 and monitor the overflow flag. So jnb tf0 and give some label. So unless and until the overflow flag will set, the control will remain on the same line and when the tf0 will become 1, it will come out of the loop. And once it will come out of the loop, then you have to clear the port pin 2.3. Also you have to clear tr0. Also you have to clear tf0. And if you want this repeated iterations, is jump up. But this up level, now you have to give it here and no need to reload the values in TA0 and TL0 again because whenever there is an overflow, uh, then at that time, after this overflow, this value which is in the TH register will be copied internally into the TL. So that iteration will continue and it will take the same count value. Okay. Uh, so it's not A3, by mistake I have written. So it's A4. Okay. So this is what is the simple program uh, for 8-bit mode. Now I have already written this program in kill. So let us go to kill and I will show you the output in kill software. So this is a program I have already written using timer 0. Now I will first compile this, will save and I will build this program. So zero errors and zero warning. Now go to debug session, start, stop debug session. And also uh, remember to change the frequency. It is 11.0592. So how to change it? That I, I will tell you once again. So for changing frequency, you have to right click on target 1, option for target 1. And here there is option for changing frequency. So by default here it is 24 megahertz. Uh, so you change it to 11.0592 mega. Okay. So I have already selected it. That frequency selection is very very important. Go to debug session and open the logic analyzer window. Just set up the logic analyzer. So here it is port 2. Okay, it is already set. So just click on close and simply click on run button. So this is an output. So just stop it and measure this delay. So this on time you have to measure. So here if you can see the reading is 99.82 microseconds. So that is what is the delay value achieved by this. So this is what all about the mode 2 of the timer in 8051 microcontroller. So if you like my video then please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.